Hey, Lord of the Flame, your tail's on fire. Here are 25 insanely ridiculous extinct creatures. 25. Passenger pigeons were once the most abundant bird in the world. They were said to be so plentiful, Ontarians reported a flock in 1866 that was a mile or one and a half kilometers wide, 300 miles or 500 kilometers long, and took 14 hours to fly by. It was estimated there were over three and a half billion in that flock alone. Martha, the last one, died at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. 24. Nicknamed the Shovel Tusker, the Platybelodon was a relative of the elephant. Rather than having a trunk, though, it sported what looked like a large duckbill. It's believed they used this to pull bark off trees and pull branches down. 23. This marsupial, the largest known to have existed, looked like a shaggy-skinned wombat. The Diprotoda noptatum roamed most of Australia up to 25,000 years ago when it lived with the first indigenous people. 22. However weird the poop-eating snail sounds, it never went hungry regardless of the era with a plentiful supply of other... animals... feces. Well, I hope you're not watching this video while you eat. 21. Beyond just a character from Ice Age, woolly mammoths roamed the northern hemisphere's frozen tundras and played a key role, dropping their... well, droppings wherever they went, which fertilized the land. Since most of their carcasses were frozen, their DNA is in quite a good condition for potential cloning. 20. Woolly mammoths are better known than their massive fur-covered friends, the woolly rhinoceros. Looking like a bison rhino cross, the beast likely went extinct due to overhunting. 19. Different from the video game character Crash Bandicoot, the pig-footed bandicoot scurried around the plains of Western Australia. Scientists can't agree on what made them extinct, or whether they were lightning quick or slow as sloths. 18. An archetype for extinct species, the dodo was one of a few animals which used gizzard stones for digestion. The stones, kept in the gastrointestinal tract, help break down food for animals without good grinding teeth. 17. A close relative of the still-living Tasmanian devil, the Tasmanian tiger was an expert hunter. Looking like a dog with rabid stripes, the last one died in captivity in 1936. 16. This one is purely terrifying. A 20 million year old carnivorous ruler of the sea, Dunkleosteus makes sharks look like kittens. Up to 33 feet or 10 meters in length and easily the weight of an elephant, these mega creatures hold the record for the strongest bite of any animal. And they could fit a human in their mouths with just one bite. 15. Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble might not be hanging out again soon, but some of their friends might be. Scientists finished sequencing the Neanderthal, or Neanderthal, genome in 2009. They found that today's non-African humans generally have 1-4% to Neanderthal. Looks like we're really not that different after all. 14. The mushroom-shaped Dendrogramma enigmatica was last found off Tasmania's coast in 1986, but scientists still aren't sure where to place it in the animal kingdom. It's possible they're the surviving relative of a long extinct species, or an entirely new group. 13. A fearsome capybara-looking animal, the Arctocyon could stand on its hind legs just like today's bears. It might have looked cuddly, but its teeth were razor sharp. <laughs> There's no petting this bear dog. 12. Today's sharks, again, pale in comparison to the Helicoprion, an ancient shark whose bottom jaw looked like a circular saw of flesh-ripping teeth. This one, we can probably leave extinct. 11. Have you ever seen a Eurasian cave painting resembling a bull? It was likely an auroch, a mega-sized, now extinct relative of cattle. Hitler was such a fan of reviving these massive beasts, he had two zoologists breed similar living relatives to try to get their characteristics back. Seems he wasn't just interested in only a master human race. 10. A relative of our modern-day armadillos, the Glyptodon was an armored four-legged beast uh, about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. Thankfully, it wasn't a carnivore. 9. The saber-toothed tiger is technically the saber-toothed cat, or Smilodon. 
but I wouldn't be smiling if I came face to face with this monster. With teeth up to a foot long or 30 centimeters, this cat dominated the Western Hemisphere with ease. 8. Roaming North America, the Deodon had a skull up to 3 feet or 1 meter in length. It was the largest of the Entelodonts, boar-like omnivores, sometimes called hell pigs or terminator pigs. 7. The Irish elk is one of the largest deer to have walked this earth. With antlers up to 12 feet or 3.65 meters, double its standard body length, this mega creature's remnants are largely found in Irish bogs, but also in Asia and Africa. 6. Discovered in the 70s and declared extinct in the 80s, the gastric brooding frog swallowed her eggs once they're fertilized by a male and kept them in her stomach for up to six weeks. While the tadpoles grew, she didn't eat, and when ready, she regurgitated the completely developed babies. 5. If you get freaked out by a huge bee, you'd be scared to death by Meganeura, the ancient world's colossal dragonfly. With a wingspan of up to 2.5 feet or 75 centimeters, this mondo bug chowed down on other bugs, frogs, and other small amphibians. 4. Alligators are big and mean, scorpions are little and mean. Put them together, and you have the ancient Eurypterid, an alligator-sized ocean-dwelling scorpion, which would be scary to come across while scuba diving. 3. Looking more like something out of a low-budget sci-fi film than a real creature, Opabinia was a five-eyed seafloor dweller. Though only a few inches long, it used a vacuum hose-like attachment in the front of it to bring food to its backwards-facing mouth. 2. When I say a big bird here, I mean big. With a wingspan larger than its name, Pelagornithidae stretch from 15 to 20 feet, or 5 to 6 meters. That's almost three Shaquille O'Neal's laid end to end. 1. As tall as a giraffe, and with a wingspan more than double that of Pelagornithidae, Quetzalcoatlus was a lizard, and that means these creatures might have been what our ancestors called dragons. It's definitely worth a shot to bring them back. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.